Welcome back to the What's Cooking program, America's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. I'm Michael Horn, along with Paul Stern. Thanks for joining us. Apparently, um, in Montana, listen to this one. Uh, here's a general rule of thumb for you to uh, follow when you're looking to buy marijuana, ladies and gentlemen. I know a lot of you listeners out there like to do that. Don't text the sheriff. Uh, apparently, authorities uh, in uh, uh, Helena, Montana uh, area said a Helena teen hit a wrong number and inadvertently sent a message to Lewis and Clark County Sheriff Leo Dutton saying, Hey, dog, do you have a 20 I can buy right now? The detective pretended to be a dealer and organized a meeting at a time when the, uh, the kid uh, knew he, had, uh, he and another teen would be at a participating store. The detective spotted the two uh, kids, aged 15 and 16, and then uh, one of the boys' uh, fathers was also there. He was unaware of what was going on at the store. Calls the phone number three times to make sure he had the right person, and uh, the detective showed the teens his badge, and uh, one of the boys fainted. No citations issued. So uh, I would have issued citations. There you have it. That's a stupid uh, kid in uh, Montana. Stupid to even text that message. Even stupider to text it to the sheriff. Talk about fainting, Mike. Uh, for those of you that might be a little uh, faint of stomach, uh, I heard that a restaurant uh, that was recently cited, uh, I guess for serving a dish, and I don't think I've ever had this myself personally. But the, the dancing th- shrimp story? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not, is it? And it happens to be the I'm so, 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 Sorry. I had an item here. The, the, the shrimp, I'm very sorry. The, this the, is a sacramento. Please the, go the, right the, ahead. The shrimp that is served with lemon. <laughs> sorry, I'm very the, sorry. Much to the chagrin, I guess. Of, uh, I apologize totally. Please go ahead with right. your story. No, apparently you happen to have more. I have just the... <laughs> A mere scribble on scratch paper. I'm sure you have the full details. This was in Sacramento where a, a restaurant I'll agreed to... I'll just turn to... my microphone off. No, just please, please stay with us. Please stay with us. Don't don't leave us, Paul. Paul, stay with us. Look at me. Stay with me. They, apparently, this uh, they, they stopped serving what they call live shrimp, an animal. This is the animal rights group that got all bunched up about this and said it was cruel to the shellfish. Now, while I would not eat dancing uh, shrimp, would you, Paul? Well, I mean, I would not I touch this. Don't, I don't believe, uh, at least, the only, the, well, not since maybe a, a, a wine dinner at the um, Acacia Winery uh, some years back. Uh, do I even know of anything even comparable to what was described yeah. as dancing shrimp, but they, yes. I was no, in I Mexico once with the uh, great Milo Rosas, oh, who was, uh, he used to work at the hotel industry there, and there was something moving on the plate, and I stayed <laughs> far away from that. And they, they were gobbling this thing down, and I'm thinking, like, you know what? I hope to see in another life, as they used to say in the <laughs> wash. <laughs> it was like, it did not look good. This place, apparently, this was called Nishiki Sushi, was the name of the restaurant. And People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals says that Nishiki Sushi suggested, as you just mentioned, Paul, squeezing lemon juice on the shrimps exposed the flesh so they would kind of writhe around as they were eaten. The dish is commonly referred to as the dancing shrimp. I think that's what I had in, uh, not what I had, what I was looking at in Mexico. It's considered a delicacy in Japan, but apparently not the the, the PETA, the People for Ethical Treatment of uh, Animals. And uh, they had dozens of complaints, so the restaurant manager, Tony Malparita, a good uh, Japanese name. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he does the jobs others do not want to do. Tony Malparita of Nasishi Sushi. hi si. So the, uh, that, by the way, that's the way hi si got its name. Did you know that? It was a Japanese drink that uh, some Hispanic people got a hold of. And hi si. Uh Anyway, the Sacramento Bee... Uh, to, he told the, the bee that the customers were excited about the dish but said the restaurant had agreed to take the live prawns off the menu. Now, apparently they bathed these prawns in cold sake before the tail was removed and served to customers oh. so the shrimp never knew it was coming. I mean, come on. They could care after the sake. What about a little bit of lemon? If you bathe in sake, ladies and gentlemen, there's a problem of some kind, I have to tell you. There's our show. Thank you for that story, Paul. I'll bring in the rest of the details for you. <laughs> We're out of time. If you miss anything, we'll put the details on the website for you at crntalk.com. For Eric Hines, Jack Roberts, Paul Stern, I'm Michael Horn saying eat well, everybody.